Hey everyone, how's it going? We are back with Phoenix Raid and we were starting the second case, I think. So we finished the first one, the tutorial one on the previous stream. Yep, yeah. okay. So, two, I don't think, did I say? No, I didn't say. I think it shows you the. A little introduction again to refresh it, I think. Nope, never mind. When I go back, I want to see it again. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to it. Um, hold on. Uh, 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 uh. To the title screen. There you go. Uh, new game. Dear. Episode 2. Stolen Turnabout. Okay. There we go. Time is 1 a.m. Uh, oh, I was right. What a relief. Got the jewel is still safe. Come, shoe. Oh, you said it, pal. It must be our rock solid security. Okay. Do you mind opening the safe just to double check? Calling card. Wow. <laughs> out frog guards. Turn out the searchlight. Turn on the searchlight. <laughs> Better luck next time, gentlemen. No, oh, right, this guy. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm afraid I must be leaving now. Okay. He gone. We shall meet again when the next moon is full. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> you funny guy. Writing company law offices October 11. Okay. Hey Nick, get a, get a load of this. Hey, are you listening to me? You can clean the toilet later. This is important. What are you freaking out about now? Hehe. <laughs> Today will be, will be the last time you talk to me that way. Oh? Huh? We're about to hit the big time. The big time? Big time? Uh, what do you mean by we? You don't mean you and me or... Uh, don't be silly. I'm talking about... What? Talking about me and Pearly, of course. Okay. Hello, it's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Nick. Girls, you haven't changed a bit. Wait, what are you doing here anyway? Hey, haven't you heard, Mr. Nick? Here, take a look at this. What's this? Some kind of poster? Oh, that was the thing that we fixed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Korean Village, isn't that... That's right, it's our hometown, Pearly and mine, that is. What's this about treasures from the Boonies? Special exhibition, say good Yep. Haha, <laughs> very funny, you can laugh all you want. But you'll be singing another tune tonight. Tonight? What about tonight? The Treasures of Curing exhibit doesn't actually start until next week, but the promoter sent us some special VIP entry passes. And that's why I dressed up extra special today. What do you think, Nick? Heh, <laughs> same, my uh, different day. This young lady here is Maya Faye. The mm -hmm. younger sister of Mia Faye, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then, I've been the one who's been keeping this law office afloat from behind the scenes. Actually, that's just a cover for her true identity. 
In reality, she's a spirit medium and a bit of a shady character. Hey, who are you calling shady? I'm shady, what the hell? <laughs> uh, and this little girl is Pearl, Faye. I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. I know I'm a, I know I'm a bit young, but I, I want to help in any way I can, Mr. Nick. Rain Village is the home of the mysterious grain channeling technique. And Maya here is the daughter of the grain school of channeling's master. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes. It's the real thing, alright? Mr. Nick, how long are you going to make two gorgeous women like us wait? Yes, Mr. Nick, I can't wait any longer. I want to see the exhibit. Uh, looks like I don't get a choice here. Might as well head on out. Treasures of this boat, sir. Plus, are for the treasures of grain exhibit. Okay. Guess we're going there, then. Also, it's, it's kind of weird that. The, well, for now, the case is a. It's a stolen thing. I think all the cases so far were murders? I think. I'm not sure. I think they were all murders. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most exp expensive department store. Treasure exhibit, huh? I have to admit, I'm pretty impressed. Oh. Well, this looks fancy. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, you can make even the cheapest junk look great. <laughs> it all depends on how you display it. Oh, there are you. They even have the dusty old hanging scroll that was in the Faye Manor storeroom. Oh yeah, I remember scri uh, scribbling on it when I was a little girl. On a family heirloom? Say, Nick, the person in charge of this exhibition is waiting for us in the basement warehouse. Alright, I guess we should go and say hello. Uh, yeah, so first examine... I don't know why we're examining. Oh, well, I guess to see stuff. <laughs> this is not a crime scene. <laughs> What's with this big cushion? Uh, it's just lying around with nothing on it. Oh, well, it must be for the greatest treasure of all. Greatest treasure? Is there something like that? Oh, why, of course there is, right, Purdy? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I bet it would really take your breath away. What, what, where is it? <laughs> a piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let's see. Here's the title in English. 108 ways to save money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the number has gone up since the last time I saw it. Okay. Well, we're always looking for new ways, you know. Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. <laughs> okay. Alright. Here's the thing. I think I remember this old folding screen here. Yeah, it wasn't the murder case here. Right. I'm pretty sure it was an important piece of evidence. Yep. In that murder case that happened in Korean Village. This one is going to use the greatest of all the spirit channeling secrets. The Six Leaf Korean Secret Writing Swollen Screen. That's a long name. If it's so secret, why is it the most prominent thing in the exhibit? <laughs> nah, I guess. That's a good point. Treasures of Korean. What these? They're just a bunch of old urns. Are these really treasures, too? Of course they are. This is a treasure exhibit, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so. So all it takes to be a treasure is age? I wonder nobody likes museums. Okay. <laughs> oh, the stigmaya, look, I can't believe it. Ah, it's so cute. It's a little di diorama? diorama of Grain Village. Yeah, look at that. But somehow it seems to reek of deeriness. 
Oh, Mystic Maya, it's your house. It even says Fey Manor on it. Yikes, you're right. I kind of want to add the famous in front of it. Wow. <laughs> okay, humble much? <laughs> Don't do it, Maya. They might get mad. <laughs> Okay. Alright, maybe we... Nothing going through everything. Okay, this? No. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's move. <laughs> Basement warehouse. Lordly Taylor. Basement warehouse. Yep, this is a basement warehouse, alright. <laughs> This place is scary. I feel like a monster could jump out of, at any time. Don't be scared, Pearly. I'll protect you. Oh, Mr. Wright. <laughs> a monster, you were right. <laughs> huh? A monster? What is this girl? What? what? Wait, who was this? <laughs> Trying to remember. Uh, good evening. It's good to see you again. Who is it? What case was she on? I don't remember. You, I know you. <laughs> nice to see you again too, little miss. Uh, hello. Is she a friend of yours, Snake? How do you know her, Pearly? Oh, was it the case that... That Maya wasn't there on the other game? On the first game, maybe? No. I don't know. What, is, what doesn't she know? Oh, Andrews. Right, Adrian Andrews. What case was it? I'm still trying to remember. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Adrian Andrews. I'm in charge of the promotion and planning for this treasure exhibit. I'm also responsible for the security arrangements. Oh, it was the samurai one, right? Why I wasn't there? You wasn't there? I don't remember. It was the samurai and the other guy too. The, the, yeah. Mm hmm. I remember now. Oh, um, nice to meet you. Adrian sure has changed since we last met. So, this is the warehouse. The really valuable exhibit items are still stored away in here. Okay. Alright, I think Pearls was my assistant on that one. Um. Right, let's examine this. There's nothing to see apparently. <laughs> oh, a bird. <laughs> Looks like a part of a big signboard. All I can read on um, on it is the bird. Burger? What is bird? Ah, I've got it. Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Oh, see, I think it's the same thing. <laughs> Why would anyone write hamburger that big for a place to eat? <laughs> like maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something? Uh, sure. I kinda doubt it. Uh, I got it. Maybe it said spaghetti. Or super. <laughs> Why are you talking about food? Oh wait, that's normal for you. <laughs> anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. <laughs> Well, maybe it was a typo. Might have said Spaghetti Festival. What do you think? Bruh. <laughs> okay to me. Besides, Spaghetti is the only thing more tangled than your reasoning. <laughs> wow. Got her. <laughs> oh, camera. The security camera is trained uh, on the warehouse, warehouse door. It's set up to take a picture of anyone that enters or exits the door. Interesting. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, they say. Do they? <laughs> Alright. PC. This computer it looks like it's hooked up to the security camera above. And that means what? You can see what the camera sees. The camera is set up to take a photo of anyone that goes in or out of the storeroom. And the data from the camera gets uploaded to this computer here. That's what. Wow, crazy technology. <laughs> I guess it was kind of crazy for the 2003, was it? <laughs> this game. 
Um, I see, that's some pretty high tech stuff. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> crazy how much we progress in like... Mm, 18 years? Yep. Oh my god, it's a ladder. <laughs> it's a ladder, wait for it. <laughs> Look, a ladder. That's a that's a step ladder. <laughs> so well, that's the difference. You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Whoa, <laughs> what are you calling me? Racist or something? <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> I do feel like we've had this exact same conversation before somewhere, as we had <laughs> every time, <laughs> every time with the ladders. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. More paint. There's a lot of paint. Organic. <laughs> oh, organic. Right. <laughs> I thought it was missing a thing. It says organic. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says organize. You just can't see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either because this place is a mess. Yeah, you must feel you must feel right at home, huh? Uh, wow, savage, <laughs> calling me messy. All right, Mystic Maya, take a look. At, take a look next to the door. That that's Mystic Amy, right? Amy, Amy. <laughs> Yes, that's a statue of the woman who invented the crane channeling technique, Amy Faye. The statue is on loan from one of the training halls of the Faye branch family. In fact, it just arrived this morning. Okay, Amy Faye's oldest statue, a statue of the founder of the crane channeling technique, is holding the what now? <laughs> Is she 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 told she's okay sure that what's the creepy looking thing she's holding I'm not saying that <laughs> don't ask me how should I know well you are the future master right <laughs> maybe so but this is the first time I've ever seen this statue that thing is the grain that thing she 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 told. It's a ceremonial sword. It's not a real weapon, so the blade isn't sharp. Oh, really? I wanted to cut something. <laughs> Whoa, chill. <laughs> what are you eyeing me for? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Why do you want to cut me? Hold on. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what's that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. Really? Let's go in. I want to take a look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unauthorized personnel aren't allowed in there. Did you hear that, Nick? We're unauthorized personnel. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. Okay, let's talk to Adrian. Uh, okay. It really has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Wright? Nick, what's going on? Who is this woman? Why are you freaking out on me? <laughs> what? I just thought it'd be, it'd be more dramatic if I got all worked up. That's all. <laughs> Why you want to be dramatic? <laughs> Mr. Maya, you shouldn't let him off the hook so easily. Uh, uh, <laughs> Please, Maya, don't say anything that'll needle pearls further. <laughs> Mr. Wright was there, uh, was there for me when I really needed help. It, it was something that happened seven months ago. You remember, don't you? The Nickel Samurai case? Not really. I was stuck in a dark wine cellar. Did that escape your memory, Nick? Oh, right. Completely <laughs> forgot that that was the same case. Right, that's why she doesn't know her. Because <laughs> she was kidnapped. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I quit being a manager and start uh, started this job. Well, that's tough. I'm sorry, Miss Andrews. If it wasn't for us. No, don't say that. I'm glad the whole thing happened. Thanks to you and everyone else that was involved, I was able to change my whole life. I really am grateful. Phew, that's a relief. Okay, Lordy Taylor. I'm really impressed, Miss Andrews. Handling a huge exhibition like this must be very tiring. Well, Lordy Taylor is celebrating their 200th anniversary this year. The works on display in the main exhibition hall are worthy of the finest museums. Woohoo! Did you hear that, Pearly? The finest museums. Yes, I did. That's uh, that's really wonderful. So this basement warehouse is pretty well protected, huh? Of course, it is. After all, there are some priceless treasures here. Security guards are all very highly trained as well. That sounds good. So what is the what is with that face she's making? Uh, Gumshoe's working here, right? <laughs> Oh, look, it's already 8. Have you all eaten yet? Uh, well, actually, I've already made a reservation at the restaurant on the 12th floor. Why don't we all dine together? There's 12 floors on this? <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Dine. Sounds so fancy. I'll have the kids lunch. Yeah, apparently it's, it's dinner, not lunch. Uh, why don't you go for it? and really eat your fill with a kid's dinner. Okay, in that case, one kid's dinner for me. Uh, shall we head upstairs then? Sure. Oh, yes. After a pleasant evening, all that reminded was to wait for the exhibition's opening. It was wonderful seeing Miss Andrews looking so happy. None of us could have imagined that the very next day something terrible would happen. Ooh. October 12, 10 a.m. Right in company. Nick, this is terrible. What the? You're cleaning the toilet again? <laughs> I never knew you were such a toilet freak. <laughs> Give me a break, would you? My brain just hit the snooze button for the fifth time. Um, I'm going to turn on the TV. What happened? I stole something. We get an update on the recent treasure heist. Based on clues found at the scene of the crime, authorities have announced that they believe it was work of the renowned phantom thief Mask the Mask. It was a calling card. It's a phantom thief. Wow. It's Joker. <laughs> um, okay. Mask the Mask. Okay. Mask the Mask? <laughs> According to a, a spokesperson, Lordly Taylor received a, tree, a threat letter some days ago. Um, hold it! What, 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 hold it! <laughs> Hello, hi. I don't know, bro. How's it going? Uh, this is the fifth heist by this phantom thief who only targets rare treasures. Lordly Taylor. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? Don't you dare go back to scrubbing the toilet. Treasure? Lordy Taylor, you don't think... Yes, now get up, Nick. It was stolen by Mask the Mask. Wait, why is there a star on his name? <laughs> Greetings, how's it going? Uh, our most valuable treasure. The Korean sacred urn was stolen. The broken one? It's fine, it's <laughs> broken. Uh, what? Mm, 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 mm. I can examine this. Wow, it's the plant. <laughs> oh, she saves again. I forgot. <laughs> it's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Cape Water Hotel, a high class luxury hotel. And it's kind of so rich. The it's kind of so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the next town over. She just keep growing. <laughs> and started building a huge theme park. Going to be called Kate Waterland. And to think that two years ago it was just a little hotel for businessmen. Well, it just takes uh, murder and I guess they get famous. 
Uh, Charlie, that's the name. Um, uh, required decorative plant. And she was alive. Oh, so she? Okay. Um, oh no. <laughs> when Mia was alive, okay. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She even went so far as to make it our mascot. It must be nice to be a plant, being able to just sit in the sun and photosynthesize. Hey, Nick, no time for daydreaming. That's right, Mr. Nick, no time for daydreaming. Ooh, okay. Oh man, until I find that urn, they're not gonna give me a second piece. I wanna check my thing. It's been a while. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently and said she cried all night too. Which I guess is why it's back up on the wall. I have to check it, uh, check it out one of these days. Is this still messy? It's my desk. I don't get to, I don't get to use it much, so the dust bunnies are starting to mount their assault. Maybe I should wipe them out with a few well-placed swipes on my cleaning rack. Hey Nick, are you trying to make me upset? Yeah, Mr. Nick, if you're worried about the cleaning, please leave it up to me. At least Pearls is good at cleaning. Uh, guess I'd better go find that urn. Um, yeah, why you have your desk so dusty but your toilet is clean? I guess you use the toilet more. <laughs> Um, difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row, they mock me, actually I've neglected them for so long that they're covered in a layer of dust, maybe I should actually try reading them once in a while, yeah, you're not gonna do that. Hey Nick, there's no time for reading. Yes Mr. Nick, you can always read later. I guess I won't be getting any, pe any peace and quiet to even read until I find that art. Can we slide? We can't slide. Can't see my PC? Okay. All right, all right, all right, let's talk. Sacred urn. Refresh my memory a little. What's this sacred urn? It's only the most important treasure in Korean village. That's all. Look, it's right there on the on this poster. Yeah, the broken one. Do you remember what's inside? The urn contains a very important soul, namely the soul of Mystic Amy Fate. The founder of the grain channeling technique. Right, Pearly? Uh, yes, uh, that's right. Hold up. Let's hold it. <laughs> what? I thought that urn had the name Amy written on it. Oh, it's I am. Now it says I am. Oh, any idea how that happened, Pearly? Uh, she doesn't know. Wait, she wasn't there. Oh, she was. Mm. <laughs> but she doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh, Alright, well. Yeah, you broke it. Um, <laughs> there are some things best left unsolved. When you say, Mr. Nick? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's right. One year ago, there was a murder in Korean Village, Maya's hometown. You, yeah, she got possessed and all that. <laughs> the sacred urn. It turned out to be an important clue in that case. One of the treasures of Karain Village. Supposedly priceless. Looks like a plain old pot. Alright. What to do? Okay, the toilet is shinier than the judge's head. So let's see what's next. What's wrong with you, Nick? What do you mean? What do you mean what? Mr. Nick, the will of Mystic Maya's treasure has been stolen. Doesn't that even bother you? But I thought the urn was the village's treasure, so I don't see how. The village is Mystic Maya. She's the future master of the Korean school of channeling. You know what I'm talking about, Mr. Nick? I won't let you say you don't. Okay, okay, I do. So what am I supposed to do about it? Isn't it obvious? Go and find the bad guy who did this. Yeah, and get the sacred urn back. But uh, I'm not a detective, I'm a lawyer. That has nothing to do with this. If you're a real gentleman, you would find it for your beloved Mystic Maya. Okay. 
Man, oh man, there's no winning against Pearl's fairy tale image of love. <laughs> What's the name of this bad guy again? Mask, Star Demask. Nick, make a note of it. Mask, Star Demask. <laughs> Why is the star in his name? It's so weird. Last year's incident. Ah, it was terrible. I was arrested and everything. Okay, we're gonna remember that. One year ago, the murder in Korean village. A man was killed during one of Maya's spirit channelings. And this arm wound up being the key piece of evidence that proved her innocence. Now, uh, Mr. Nick, would you mind not telling Mystic Maya about that? You promised, remember? You said you wouldn't tell anyone I broke the urn. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember, this urn used to say Amy on it. And she fixed it wrong. <laughs> Until Pearl accidentally broke it into a million pieces. She tried to sec secretly fix it. Let's just say it didn't work out so well. Sorry, I'm not so good at arts and crafts spelling either. Anyway, this is how her gluing project turned out. She put the pieces together wrong, and now instead of Amy, it says I am. Mm -hmm. I can't believe no one has noticed this until now, a whole year later. I can't believe it in myself. No, okay. Do, 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 do. I percent stuff. It's my patch. Look. So, what do you think about this? Mm, what about it, Pearly? I'm not certain. What do you think, Mr. Nick? Maybe three hits are better than one. <laughs> oh, I have my the Megatama still. Oh, we're gonna be doing locks again. Okay. Uh, person from my ad re reacts to people who have secrets in their hearts. Oh, hey, it's my Magatama. So, what do you think, Nick? Isn't it neat? It sure is. Being able to peek into people's minds is definitely, uh, definitely a nice advantage. <laughs> what? How do you do that? What do you mean? You gave me this thing. <laughs> well, I knew probably put some sort of spiritual power into it. But I had no idea that it let you do something as cool as that. Some future leader you are. <laughs> Next time you use it, let me know, okay? I want to see into people's minds too. Okay, sure thing. Um, is this thing really that all that valuable? Looks kind of well junky, if you ask me. It's got the soul of Mystic Amy, the founder of our challenge technique. So how much do you think you could get for it? <laughs> what? Sell the secret urn? You know, I never thought about that. Hey, Pearly, make a note of that. <laughs> He's just gonna sell it. Ways to save money to ponder at night. Sell treasures whenever possible. <laughs> whenever possible, check. <laughs> Bro. Somehow I think Maya's going to be searching for a buyer for a long time. Okay. Uh, the statue? You know, even I didn't know this statue existed until a little while ago. Didn't Adrian say it's from a Fey branch family's training hall or something? Yes, there are actually a lot of training halls scattered all over the country. Hidden away deep in desolate mountains. Why does it always have to be desolate mountains? <laughs> uh oh. It'd be like that. What these? This thing really all the valuable. Oh, same thing. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're moving to the hall. For the tailor, mini exhibition hall. Right, let's see if we can find some clues that might lead us to the bad guy. It doesn't look like anything has been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Oh, bad guy, huh? Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Oh, gumshoe. My mans. Wait a minute, that boy's... Oh no, not him again. Why not? He's cool. 
Okay, it's you, and I'm the one who should be saying not again. Why is it that every time something bad happens, you always show up, pal? Should be asking you that. Are there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Why are you here any? All right, all right, we got it. We why don't you two kiss and make up already? <laughs> Uh, hello, it's been a long time, Mr. Scruffy Detective. <laughs> no, it's you, little missy. Um, uh, actually, my name is Gumshoe, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Now is a good chance for you to try to remember it right. And if it's too long for you, you can just call him Dick. Um, <laughs> okay, it's good to see you again, Mr. Detective Dick. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good to see you again, too, I guess. Uh, alright. <laughs> Can we examine this again? Same thing? Same things. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. What happened? Uh, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us about the, uh, what happened? Oh, you're trying to remember my name. Atta girl. Uh, just... It's Gumshoe, okay? <laughs> Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh. Well, the criminal's name is Mask the Mask. I know about that too. <laughs> Dick, but can't you tell us something other than that? Well, I guess I sort of kinda owe you guys uh, any... in a way. The crime occurred last night at around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know that? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here? Right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse, huh? Oh, um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? That guy, it's all his fault that the thief got away, pal. He solves one case and gets a uh, swell head thinking that he's an ace detective. Ace detective? Hey, Stevie, how's it going? How's your Saturday? Who's the ace detective? <laughs> mask the mask. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, about this mask the mask. Is he famous? Oh, what? You're joking, right, Nick? Master Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. What? But underneath those disguises is the true Master Mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise, huh? And he only goes after the finest works of art, pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If Lordy Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. What? And you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course he did. The guy always sends his calling card. It is a calling card. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're good? Nice. Got to hear that. How about me? I'm doing the right things. Mm-hmm. Started this case, so getting into it slowly. <laughs> um, all right, mm -mm, calling card, huh? They mentioned that on TV. Okay, ace detective. Who the heck is this ace detective? So, why do you call him an ace detective anyway? That's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't make it up. So, what's he like? Well, like I told you, Masty Mask has made five highs so far. On the fourth highs, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yep, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we, we send our man on a stakeout. Uh, but none of us has ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. Ace Detective was able to retrie retrieve the stolen treasure from the thief. 
Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's down in the basement warehouse, huh? Okay, guess we're gonna meet them. But what's this calling card? Here it is, but don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's Master Mask's signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got it on them. I didn't mention that on the news flash. We're, we've been holding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if a calling card is real or not is by this emblem. Okay, send before a heist, the emblem is top secret. Okay, that makes sense. When you get famous, there are always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Uh, uh thanks, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Mm, 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 mm. You wanna see this? Oh yeah, a badge. Here, take a look at my attorney's badge. He's still showing that cheap little things off, thing off. Real man keeps his mouth shut. Here's a slave police badge, pal. <laughs> so hard. Uh, what about this? Sorry, pal. I get my sleep last night and my brain's not really working right. I don't think sleep would really fix the problem. I keep it down. <laughs> you might have really good hearing for all you know, and might get mad if you if you heard. Uh, I can hear everything you're saying, pal. <laughs> He's right there, my. You might have found or something that bugs me. What's that? All the other items that were stolen by Master Mass were ones even I had heard of. They were all were famous treasures. The, the Tear of Emanon or the Crown of Bongora. Second Earn of Karain is famous too, right, Purdy? Of course, everyone is Kar in Karain Village knows about it. That's how we've got an unpredictable thief on our hands. Okay. Oh, thank you for the contribution for the next game, Stevie. Mm -mm. What about this? Okay. Uh, do we have a spell? Something that bugs me? Okay. okay. Remember, don't tell anyone about that emblem, okay, pal? Does the thief ever send this to the police? No, always to the victims. Until now, the victims have always come to us looking for help, though. That's not what happened this time, you mean? You got that right, pal. Listen up, if you guys ever get one of these calling cards, I want you to come to us right away. Got me? Yeah, sure. Okay. I had the profiles too, I forget about it. Oh, that's the mask. Who oh, these? Oh, yeah, it's me. I wasn't there on the other game, was I? Phoenix right. Me. What more can I say? This is my third year as a young but skilled lawyer. Flex much. Okay. Pretty goofy looking face, if you ask me to. <laughs> hey! What are you doing carrying that around with you anyway? It's not like we ever need it. He has got a point. I don't know. You know, in this game, it might be of use. Oh, that's Miss Mia Faye. She was a truly beautiful person, pal. Right? Hey, you knew her? You knew my sis? Sure, every everybody in the police force knew her. We all lost a great friend that day. Mr. Scruffy Detective, I just got something in my eye. I'm not crying. Mm-hmm. What about this person? Sorry, pal. Didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah. That's my adult. She's right in front of me. She's right there. Okay. Adrian? No. And you? You're not about yourself? Okay. Mask. I've been on this guy's tail ever since his first high spell. Yeah, you're doing a really great job, I can see. <laughs> Listen, pal, if you want to jump high, first you gotta crouch down, right? 
I'm a little frustrated now, but I'll, it'll make it that much sweet, sweeter when I catch him. Anyway, that's what I keep telling myself every day. Well, good luck, Mr. Detective Dick. I believe in you. Oh, uh, ain't you sweet? You're the only one that's ever said that. The only one? That's kind of sad if you think about it. <laughs> oh, look at Shoe. He's trying his best. <laughs> Okay, let's go into the basement. October 12th, Lord of Taylor Basement Warehouse. Oh, oh no, the sword is broken. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. It's probably because it's air conditioned to protect the air, the art pieces, you know? Welcome to my private little ban banquet of chaos. <laughs> Huh? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> uh, is this the ace detective? <laughs> I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please, make yourself at home. Uh, who are you anyway? <sighs> Silence. <laughs> now I see, it's all becoming clear. Who the heck? What do you see? Sweary, sweary. The truth has once again been elegantly, uh, elegantly revealed to me. Elegantly. <laughs> That's the way to say it. <laughs> I was thinking of it. Um, a lawyer and a spirit medium neither very advanced at their trade. Well, savage. Am I wrong? Yikes, that's scary. How do you know that? How? You say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. I <laughs> I am a traveler of both time and space and a swimmer of dreams. He has a <laughs> just notice that. He has a, a, a what's it called? <laughs> a, a, a glass, magnifying glass <laughs> on as a monocle. Okay, what is he talking about? I can't make heads or tails of it. Okay. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. And introduce myself. The name is At Me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Ace Detective. Oh, um, hi. Don't let, him, don't let him intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him that you're what you're made of. Uh, um, the name's right. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. I'm my FA. Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, uh, her FA. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin and, um, Spirit Medium Maze Apprentice. <laughs> Excellent. Well then, shall we begin our little game? Hey, why does the phrase one short of a baker's dozen come to mind with this guy? <laughs> okay, let me examine pal. Okay. Camera. This is the lawyer? Please refrain from such crude behavior. Oh, what do you mean? It's criminal is an artist. Uh, the crime scene is the canvas upon which he paints. So I can touch anything. Only I, Ace Detective at me, have an eye which is ed educated enough to read the signs. Did you translate that for me, Nick? I think you pretty much said don't touch anything, amateurs. Is there something you wish to know about? You have uh, but to ask at me. I know everything there is to know about my rival, Master the Mask. What do I do now? Does he have any top secret information? Uh, stuff that only real crimes, a real crime buff would know? Uh, I'll think about what to ask while I listen to what Mr. A's detective has to say. Uh, okay, guess I can check anything. Yeah, he will let me. Okay, sliding. Oh, no pain. Yeah, I need to get rid of him or something. Okay. Ace detective. 
Um, so are you really as famous as you say? Well, of course. For a lawyer, you have a rather shocking lack of knowledge about the world. I had no idea anyone was left in this city that had not heard of me. Look at me. I am Mass the Mass Arch Enemy, the Ace Detective. Look at me. At this moment, there are two mighty figures which loom large over his this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other the angelic cherubs of light? I don't know what that means. Um, boy, now I'm really lost. What is he saying, Nick? I have been personally on the heels of this villain uh, since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I thwarted his very la latest loathsome larceny. He uses a lot of big words. I don't like him. <laughs> I even returned the target of his tyranny, the portrait of Megina, to the crime scene. Uh, and I did it all by myself. I took it back from Masty Mask with my, uh, with my brownie mind and my brilliant muscles. Yeah, they mentioned it on the news in the Great People Around Town segment. They said that the museum gave you an incredible jewel as a reward. Well, compared to the treasure that I uh, retrieved for them, it's not much. So, in the end, the only thing that makes you great is your own self-praise. Okay, Mask the Mask. Now, tell us what you know about Mask the Mask and keep it simple, please. Like about how I have devoted my life to thwarting his dastardly deeds. Last night here in the bowels of this store, we were locked in a most glorious battle. I see, huh? Hang on a second. You were here last night? Here in Lordy Taylor. Naturally, wherever the mask goes, you will find at me laying his elegant traps. Well, that's kind of sus. <laughs> Elegant traps, more like the mask out, out the elegance you and made a beautiful getaway. But this time I allowed him to escape with the illusion of victory. I wonder if I should ask him about what happened last night in more detail. I guess we are. Um, can you tell us exactly what happened here last night? But of course, after all, I always say there should be no secrets between aces. Flattery will get you nowhere, Pinocchio. <laughs> Gee. I first received the request for my services 20 days ago. I didn't even notice his nose. <laughs> okay. And it was 10 days ago that we received Masty Mass calling guard. Huh? You were hired before the calling guard even arrived? Yes, you see, the person who hired me is quite rigorous and thorough. That's Adrian for you. A mere 10 days after hiring me, her worst premonitions were realized. The calling got right, right? Yes, so ace detective that I am, I set a trap for the thief right in the warehouse and waited for him alone. Alone? But why? Why didn't you go to the police for help? Ridiculous. Why would I seek help from such a singularly useless group of ning nincompoops? <laughs> uh, you killed a lot of nerve. After all, it was you that let the mask get away. I always operate alone and concealed, out of the sight of others. Mm -hmm. Concealed? Um, precisely, even the guards on duty here were unaware of my presence. To fool your enemies first, you must fool your friends. It's my own original proverb. Anyway, back to what happened last night. As I was saying, I hid here in the warehouse and waited for the thief to arrive. But I swear to you, not a solitary soul came through that entrance. Nevertheless, the secret urn disappeared. But that's impossible. How could it just disappear? How, you ask? Don't be ridiculous, sir lawyer. 
If I knew the answer to that question, I wouldn't be here. For someone who seriously messed up his own stakeout, he's rather full of himself. So he was saying that even, even though one, even though on one came through those doors uh, last night. Okay. Our precious urn still somehow banished from under your nose? That's just not possible. Okay, what do we do then? Oh, he said I want to see that car. I'm sorry, it can be more helpful, but I have no interest in um, save that of finding evidence against my arch rival. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's just a bit of a building evidence hog. That's his defense style. A uh, building evidence hog, you say? In that case, I'd simply be wasting my breath. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Maya. Why can't you have said I was a rival and not a building evidence hog? So I can be more helpful. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, let's keep something. I'm gonna go back to it. Oops, let's keep it open. Do not fear, young lady. I promise I shall retrieve your arm. Thank you, Detective Atme. I'm counting on you. The final round, the final round between Detective Look at me and Masty Mask is set to begin. Still, there's something funny about this guy. Yeah, but don't forget he managed to retrieve the treasure from the last height. Yeah, that's kind of sus, sus too. <laughs> How's the game going? It's going alright. Yeah, we, we're just trying to solve this stolen thing for now. Trying to see the, the crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy is kind of in the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Um, yes, I even have a video that details my role in the whole affair. What you been doing, Stevie? You playing something now? Uh, I recorded it directly from the news on TV. Can I interest you in a copy? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's take care about that. Is the same thing? No fear? Yeah. You want this, huh? Master Mask calling card. It's got his emblem printed on it, right? Oh, quite impressive, but I would expect nothing less from my arch rival. I'm surprised to see you in possession of such a top secret piece of information. Well, we've got an ace lawyer, an ace spirit medium, and an ace cousin and apprentice here. Yes, indeed, I think I could learn to like you, my fellow ace professionals. I don't know if I really want this guy to like us ever. <laughs> well, Sir Lawyer, I've been told that you too are pursuing the mysterious thief. Well, I'm not sure I would. What? That's right. We're going to find the sacred urn no matter what we have to do. Excellent. I will trust you. I permit you to take a look around while I investigate elsewhere. If per chance you should discover something of value return then uh, to my office my office of early delights the atme detective agency uh, office of early delights well then sir lawyer if you'll excuse me i have much to do oh, wait a minute it's gone I don't like the idea of doing this guy's work for him. Come on, Nick, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Let's hurry up and investigate before he changes his mind. I want to go to his office, too. Take me with you, okay? Okay. Time to examine. Mm. Security camera is trained to the big doors. The storeroom is set up to take photo of anyone goes in or out. Security camera? Yeah, go stand in front of that door and it'll snap your photo too, Pearly. Uh, Mystic Maya, do you think I should smile? 
Nah, it's for criminals, so I think you should make a really scary face. Like this. Oh, hey, I didn't see the face. <laughs> hey, Pearly, do you know what this is? It's a computer. A computer? Oh, I've heard of those. It has such a cute name. Looks like this computer is for storing the data from the security camera. When someone comes in or out, the warehouse, the camera takes a photo of them. Probably the trap that detective set up. Let's see if we can if we can find last night's data on this thing. We may even find a photo of Master Mask. Hmm, let's see here. Man, I really stink at working these things. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? We're sweating an awful lot. I don't know how to pull up the photos. <laughs> hey Emma, how's it going? We're back in. So you're not here, but here. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Have fun with the baking. <laughs> Hope that's going well. Um, had no idea you were so pathetic with high tech stuff, Nick. Yeah, well, I managed to print out the camera data anyway. Guess you have to learn to crawl before you can walk, right, Nick? Yeah, sure. Anyway, looks like the camera only went off once last night. The warehouse camera went off once at around 1 a.m. on the night of the crime. And I see a photo. <laughs> That pathetic looking wooden box. Yeah, that's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on there. I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made that poor excuse for a box, Maya? It looks pretty good. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That urn has always been on its stand in the winding way of Fey Manor. So there was no box suitable for it, Mr. Nick. And I, I was so proud of it. <laughs> oh. oh my, maybe it'd be it'd have been better if mask the mask had taken the box too. <laughs> okay. The source on the ground broken. Wow, this is awesome. What did Miss Andrew say it was called again? Uh well, this is that. <laughs> Did you should do? It's literally a seven brand branch sword in Japanese. Okay. Seven branch sword. There's no seven in the name though. <laughs> or so says Miss Andrews. Uh it's an it's a nana seven? Nana. I think. Um whoa, it's pretty heavy. One hit seven times the fun. Pretty catchy, huh? I bet I bet it it sell like hotcakes. Um, there's something about it that bothers me. Wow, you're really firing on all cylinders today, Perry. This sword wasn't Mr. Gamey holding it last night. Yep. Ah. And another thing, the sword wasn't bent last night like it is now. Wow, you're right. Crazy. Took him a bit to realize. Awesome, Pearly. I wouldn't expect any less from my little ace apprentice. The sword is bent, so that must mean... Last night someone used it somehow? Ah, uh -huh, I just thought of something. Maybe the detective had me smash mass the mass with it. Like this. Bruh. Are you Bruh. Just smacking me. Yeah, what the heck? What do you think, Pearly? I think it's even more bent than it was before. Bruh, stop toying with clues and, and evidence, bruh. Oh my my head. My hair. A ceremonial sword held in the hand of a face statue wasn't bent before the crime. Okay. Okay. This statue of Mystic Amy is so cool. I want a gold statue of myself. 
You could put it in the office. Key. Hey, it's right in Co. How about a ghost set to a mean? Um, Mr. Nick? I'm sorry, but I noticed something strange. Huh? What is it, bro? A statue of Mr. Gamey. Was this where it was last night? Oh, no. It's more to the left, I think. Oh. Yeah. Pretty sure it was closer to the door. Yeah, I think you're right. Great job, Pearly. I wouldn't expect anything less from my ace cousin. I actually didn't notice that. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't. I can't say anything. <laughs> the statue was moved on the night of the crime. The statue of the founder of the Korean channeling to be moved the night of the crime. Okay. Watch this paint. Look what you did, Nick. You spilled paint over here. I didn't do that. Well, it wasn't here last night. I will have noticed the color of this outrageous. But this paint has already dried up. Well then, you should have cleaned it up before it dried, Nick. Paint doesn't dry that fast. As I told you, it wasn't me. Looks like it's been several days since it was spilled. Several days. Oh, the statue was in front of it. Right. Hey, look at this. What is it? There's some kind of shape left in the bottom left side of this stain. Huh, you're right. I wonder what it could be. Okay. Mr. Nate, what's that big door over there? Looks like it's the door to the actual showroom. This is also because of the stuff back there. This is where they were keeping the secret sacred urn. Remember, my Miss Andrew said we're not allowed in there. Okay. So what do we do then? Move back to the hall. Yes. Do -do -do -do. Hey Nick, your cell phone's ringing. Who these? Hello, Phoenix right here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay. Hey, it's me. Don't you? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Yoshu, what is it? What's so funny? <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny, pal. I finally beat him. I beat Mr. Ace Detective. Finally, this underdog underdog is the alpha dog today. That stuck-up detectives met his match. Hey, yup, I finally caught him. Stuck, stuck and stuck and barrel. There's no escape for him. He he, he got the mask. The mask guy. You caught him. Are you saying you capture mask the mask? Bingo! Well, actually he surrendered. But I still got him. <laughs> uh, does that count? Sure. Uh, let's count for Gumshoe for sure. <laughs> mask the mask surrender. That's great. So when can we come and pick up the secret arm? Uh, uh, well, you see, I was gonna tell you. What? Something wrong? You think you can swing by the detention center sometime? The detention center? He wants to talk to you. Masty mask, that is. What? He wants to talk to Nick? I'll be waiting for you, pal. So get over here soon. Okay, the detention center, huh? Okay... Ah, uh, yes, we are. Uh, oh, detective agency. Detention center, we have admin detective agency. Uh, let's go to the agency first. This man. The hell is science stuff? Doors. <laughs> what is he, a pirate? Sci a scientist, pirate guy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice boats and stuff. Um, this is a detective agency. Looks more like the set of some B-grade horror movie. <laughs> Hello, is anyone here? Looks like nobody's home. Oh, what a waste of time. 
Hey, I know. Let's take that frame picture back with us as a memento. <laughs> Why you always want to steal stuff, Maya? Don't you dare, Maya. Guess we'll have to try it back later. Okay, can I can examine things with, without anyone birth bothering me, so... Hey, Nick, what's this thing here? It's called a gramophone. In the old days, people used them to listen to music. You can't be serious. I think it's probably for purifying the air or something. I'll bet you 50 cents. Come on, what do you say? Forget it. You never pay up when you lose. <laughs> Whoa, it's a huge hearth. That's a fireplace. Oh, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What a creepy painting. It's like he's looking right at me. Maybe we should put up a big portrait of you in the office, Nick. I can even paint it for you. Maybe you can pose while cleaning the toilet. <laughs> I think I prefer something a bit more dignified. That's one impressive bookshelf filled with some very impressive books. My life as an ace detective. An abridged edition by Look At Me. Ace detective. Hey, he's even got one of those ships in a bottle thingies. <laughs> ah, would you look at that? There's a little Look At Me doll at the, hel at the helm. How cute. There's some microscope here too. I wonder if he was researching something. The glass slides have different names on them. This one says at me virus. Uh hmm. This guy's just dying to make a name for himself, huh? I mean kind of irritating actually. Okay. This desk is desk is literally covered with all sorts of chemistry equipment. Oh, I just love chemistry. Say Nick, I bet you didn't know this, but Water is made up of carbon and hydrogen. Are you sure about that? <laughs> uh, I think it's oxygen and hydrogen. No, 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 not carbon, oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen. Oh, yeah, there's are, there are always alternative theories, I guess. If by alternative theories you mean the ones you make up inside that head of yours. Alright. Uh, oh my. Uh. Alright. Moving through everything. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's go to the. Detention uh, Center. Yep. Level 12, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey pal, welcome to the detention center. You're sure in a happy mood, aren't you? Uh, yep, after all we got nasty mess. Right, but um, so where's the sacred urn? Oh, sorry about that pal. I guess I didn't really think about it before. But you're the victim in this case. Huh? Well, I guess I should let you guys hear the story straight from the horse's mouth. You know, he's right, Nick. He is? If you think about it real hard, we are the victims. Well, I guess so, in a way. Um, I'm so used to thinking of the victim as a dead person because we're always on murder cases. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. But anyway, I have to get the sacred arm back. Please don't just ignore me. Mask? Uh... Who are you? I, uh, um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, i mask the mask? Okay. Hey, Nick, doesn't he look kind of, well, gangly? I'm Ron the Light. Uh, the famous mask the mask. I don't think this guy could punch his way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> well, 
Let's judge you of you, Nick. <laughs> Smile, you're in can candid camera. Uh, yep. This guy, same guy as always. This car monitors the visitor's room. He looks nervous being this close to an alleged thief. Okay. Yes, we're talking to this guy. Mask the mask. So you're the mask the mask guy? Yes, you bet. No, uh that's wrong. You see it's complicated. Sort of yes and sort of no. If you know what I mean. <laughs> mm, what's wrong? Well, when I say wrong, what I really mean to say is that it's not right per se. You see, it's not spelled mask to mask, it's actually mask to mask. <laughs> Why does he do that? Does he do that? The gray letters. <laughs> What's with this guy? Well, he's a timid little weakling, we know that much. Don't do that, don't look at me like that, I don't need your pity. And a major crybaby too. <laughs> so why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well, I know why. It's because you stole such a priceless treasure. Now you're overwhelmed with guilt. Am I right? Priceless treasure? That broken old urn? Oh, I have a little favor to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, what is it? Could you go and talk to Dizzy? Can you see Dizzy? Dizzy? Oh, who's man? Take it around. Look, we really want our arm back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I really will. Um, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises I can't keep. I'll just end up hurting people. Um, Mr. Nate? I can hear what he just said, especially the last part. Um, uh, Mr. Dimask, do you think you could speak up a little? Y yes, sir. I will, I promise. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> See, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I really can't do anything. Mr. Dimask, about the urn? Oh yes, the urn, right away. Uh, actually, no. I wouldn't mind telling you, but actually I'm afraid you wouldn't believe it anyway. Enough already, just tell it to us straight. <laughs> please, please don't yell at me. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. That urn, I uh, lost it. What? Lost it. What did you just say? Did you say you lost it? Yes, uh, no, well, maybe so. I mean, yes, I lost it. What do you mean? Well, you know, I lost it. Like I said, these things just happen. You're on the train and you get distracted and you forget your bag, you know? What? You forget your sacred urn on a train? Wait a minute, you went on the train dressed like that? No, I, I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. Anyway, I'm sorry, I just lost it somewhere. I don't know where. This guy's story is more surreal than a Dali painting. <laughs> Are you really sure this creep is masked mask? Oh yeah, don't call him a creep. Although I do have to admit, I understand your doubts about this guy. Okay, who's Tessie or DC Tessie person? But who is this DC Tessie person? Please don't talk about my wife like that. I guess she must be his wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, the truth is... It was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Uh, do you think you could go and visit her at my hideout? 
Hideout? Mr. Nick, what does he mean by hideout? Oh, sorry. Naturally, I meant to say my secret base. <laughs> secret base? Well, my apartment, actually. Palazzo Pel... Pel... Pepe? Pel Pepe? Third floor. Let's go have a look, Nick. To Master Mass Hideout. Something tells me she just likes the sound of the word hideout. Okay. And present stuff. What do you think about this? Uh, I don't really think I can help you with that. Uh, no, that's not it. Well, the thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or the other. I don't really catch that. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Okay. Just gonna show things. I'm really sorry it caused so much trouble. If you're so sorry, then you shouldn't have stolen it in the first place. But the only thing I did wrong was lose it. Uh, that's not right. I was wrong either way. I'm sure the owners of the other churches are saying. You sure seem sorry. Who would have imagined that such a famous thief would have such a pure heart? Nothing. The same? Yeah. Oh, that's Master Mass calling card. Pretty nice looking, huh? He looks so happy. I'm not very good at writing, you see. So I bought a book called How to Write Business Letters and studied hard. Well, I guess you could call theory a type of business. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Profiles. No, it's not really gonna talk about anything. Well, maybe himself. Not these. No, no. Andrews? No, it doesn't know her. Tom Shoe? Nope. Ever since I was a little boy, I've always been interested in mysterious masked man. So that's what you wanted to be when you grew up? Yes, uh, no, sort of, but not exactly. I never imagined I'd feel as bad as I do now about the treasures in Stolen. People truly can be complicated, can't they? Him. Do you know him? He claims to be your arch enemy and rival. Uh, that person. He's not my arch enemy or my rival. No, actually, no. Now that I think about it, the terms arch enemy and rival are the same thing. They are rivals. Only people who have it out for each other would disagree like this. Okay. Okay, he must rather himself. Okay. Rom Delight. Young man who turned himself. In a spasty mass, a bit of a pitiful guy. Okay. We're moving to the hideout, I guess. Alright. It's been an hour and a half already. Yeah. <laughs> Time goes by fast with this. Uh, wow. Check this place out. No doubt about it, this is Master Mass Hideout, alright? Who is it? Is that you, Ronnie? Uh, huh? who are you, people? Uh, are you... DC Delight? That's right, huh? Oh, Desiree. Oh, Desi, okay. Um, uh -huh. Oh, you must be the lawyer and the victim. Yeah, that's us. Your husband told us to stop by and speak with you. I'm my FA, and this is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nicky boy and Maya, huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you decided to help me Ronnie. Well, uh, uh, you're welcome. Did she really call me Nicky boy? <laughs> that's all we got. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over here. Stuck and covered. It, it's a missile. Did you know there's dynamite in missiles? 
but they're not heavy enough to be real. Oh wait, they're just really well-made toys. What are these rolls of paper stuck in the trash can? Theft of the Masarian Stone, the Great Albatross Strategy. Theft of the Immortal Goddess Statue, the Great Knuckle Bomber Strategy. Did the police even investigate this place? Hey, Nick, look on top of the chair. Looks like an envelope and a letter. Well, don't just stand here. Come on, let's read it. My, uh, you know we shouldn't do that. What are you talking about? That letter could be an important clue. No way, you can't just go reading a private letter because you feel like it. Well, it's not just because I feel like it really could be important. If I was sure it was a clue, I guess I wouldn't mind. Okay. Fair enough, Nick. Fair enough. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's so cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow. There's no fooling you. I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in, in it, Nick. That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. It's proof enough that Ron Delight really is Master Mask. I better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. Or it could be her. She could be Master Mask. Hmm? Who knows? Hmm, mm, these things look vaguely familiar. Oh, I know, it's a fishbowl. Well, an upside down one, anyway. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. Oh, it's the one that... Um, what's her name? <laughs> Old Pack was using in the other game. Um, that looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Uh, Nick, do you think maybe you could act like a grown-up for a little bit? I'd like to invite Maya to be more of an adult. That's a new role. <laughs> okay, oh the mask. It's a bunch of cheap custom pieces arranged inside an ice frame. Look Nick, it's a fake be beard. Uh, there's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick, try on this fake be beard. Come on, try it on. <laughs> hey, cut it out. Now put on the mask. <laughs> it's Phoenix the mask. Well, funny. <laughs> Let's borrow it for a while. No way, I'm not stealing from a thief. I have enough bad karma as is. Isn't, isn't stealing from a thief good? <laughs> oh. It's mask the mask. There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oops, I skipped it. I don't get it. What's this supposed to be, Nick? Wait, can I hear it again? Because I skipped over the line. I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. Okay. And that's what happened. In the scene in the beginning. What's it supposed to be, Nick? Oh. Can I do the laugh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know his laugh. Ooh, cool bike. Okay. Uh, just scuba gear. Nick, it's a torpedo. It's hard to believe. It sure looks real. But could he? Where could he have picked or uh, uh, picked up something like this? Please don't say that torpedoes are things people just leave lying around. Uh, yeah, apparently, books. There are a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic-sounding novels about famous heights and fantastic thieves. Wow, well, look at all the bookmarks and notes stuck into them. Let's see here. Here. Note, must remember this thief's way of laughing. Very useful. <laughs> Note, a calling card is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. Okay. Wow, Ron really studied his stuff. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. 
Can I slide to the kitchen there? Nope. Okay. Okay, enough. Let's talk with uh what's her name? Desi. Uh wrong light. Um about your husband. He <laughs> isn't he the cutest? A bit weak sometimes though. A bit. By the way, did you know they mentioned my own TV? Huh? Really? They said you own the urn and that you're doing some shady training at a law office now? Remind me not to watch the channel's news program. After I saw that, I thought it might be a good idea to meet the lawyer they mentioned. I see. My Ronnie, he was a powerful imagination and he has a powerful imagination and gets deluded easily. He kept insisting he was going to surrender to the police. I didn't know what to do. It was me. I stole that urn. He kept saying, as if it was even possible. Wait, so she's an accomplice? <laughs> Should she, she, uh, shouldn't she be in prison too? <laughs> uh, but are you saying he didn't? <laughs> well, of course he didn't. Why would my Ronnie ever do something like that? Well, you know, it's a priceless treasure. And he's, you know... Plus, his own wife doesn't know his secret identity. Okay. Uh, the zero delight. Me, I'm the kind of woman that needs excitement in her life. Oh, excitement, huh? Yes, I'm at my happiest when I'm racing along with my bike going at full throttle. Riding a motorcycle is like putting your life on the line. You know what I mean? Are those... she has wheels, those earrings? <laughs> Well, I think that depends on how you write it. I'm the type that can't stand living a boring, dreary, uh, dreary old life with no action. Uh, no offense, but your husband, Ron, doesn't exactly look like the risk-taking type himself. You're right about that. He's still not one for thrills and danger. But I do have to say that he makes up for it in other ways. Other ways? Yes, money. Money is incredibly rich and super generous. Okay. Uh, he bought me a bike that's so fast it would make your head spin. And shopping? I like to shop so much it makes Ron's head spin. The other day it actually happened. His head actually started to spin. Man, talk about a high maintenance wife. So where does Mr. Delight get all this money from? Ronnie's a security guard, and they put their lives on the line, right? But they get paid tons of money in return. Tons of it. He's a security guard? I think it's my turn for my head to spin. Um, the night of the crime. Can you tell us about what happened last night? Mm, what time did that incident take place again? What time was it again, Maya? Well, according to the ticket gum it was around 1.30 in the morning. Ah, last night was horrible. I got pulled over. Pulled over? Yes, I always do my best flying at night. Flying? Ah, uh, you're talking about your motorcycle, right? Yes, anyway, last night I got pulled over by a policeman. Can't believe he caught up to me. It was a great chase, let me tell you. When he finally caught me, the poor man was as as white as a sheep. It was about 3 in the morning when I finally got home. Sounds like she's got an airtight alibi. Well, what about Mr. Delight? I don't really know. We weren't together at that time of the night. But when I got home, he was already fast asleep. So basically he's got no alibi. Just here, would you take a look at this? I'm sorry, I haven't find this idea. I guess I just don't get a, enough. Okay. okay. Oh, that's so mysterious looking. I love old stuff like this. Really? That's one of our most treasured possessions. There's going to be a whole exhibit 
at Lordy Taylor with these types of things. Man, I look so happy. She's lit up like a thousand watt bulb. Terrific, you can count on Ronnie and me to be there. Sounds like fun. Huh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, looks like that light bulb is starting to flicker. Okay. So mysterious looking at level 7 guys. Okay. Oops, I'm just gonna say the same for that. Uh, so what do you know about this? No, you can't show her that, Nick. It's in the room, it's in the... <laughs> It's in the hot air balloon. She's seen it before. That emblem is top secret, don't you remember? Uh, oh, oh, oops, sorry about that. But the way she just said top secret was not worse giveaway than what I did. Oh, when I hear the word top secret, it just uh, picks my interest like nothing else. Uh, oh, we... do, 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 do. Excuse me, what? Would you take a look at this? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the finest idea. Okay. Mysterious. Yeah. Okay. Do -do -do. Oh, so, Nicky boy, you're a lawyer, huh? Well, yeah. How do you like it? I bet it's so exciting. Yeah, sometimes actually a little too exciting at times. Oh, I just love a good thrill. Mm, Nicky boy, sounds like you have it so nice. So, yeah, so nice. Um, this is starting to get awkward. <laughs> okay. That's really amazing. A master at your age. Oh no, you've got it wrong. It's my mother that's the current master. Oh, I see. So what exactly is she the master of anyway? Well, you see, it's like... Don't say my if you say spirit channeling, she'll laugh. Ouch, that hurts. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Light, you must know, right? What your husband and mask the mask? Mask the mask? Of course, I know all about it. My husband is his biggest fan. Yo, what? Huh? <laughs> Biggest fan? Yes, and Ronnie can be pretty delusional sometimes. That's how this whole misunderstanding happened. Wait a minute, did you say delusional? Yes, that's right. I just don't know what I'm going to do with him. You see, Ronnie actually believes that he is mask to mask. What? What are you talking about? Um, I, don't know. I know he doesn't look it, but he can really get things done when he puts his mind to it. Really? So when exactly does he put his mind to it? Well, not very often, I admit. But exactly does Miss uh, Miss Delight seen her husband anyway? Oh, you must have really seen the skyrockets when you first met to love uh, him so much. Skyrockets? I know people still use that word. As long as I've got my motorcycle and my runny, I'm happy. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that plus a little excitement and a little shopping money. Then I'm happy. Now she's starting to sound a bit greedy. What do you think, Nick? Okay. But delusions. What about these delusions? So when did Ronnie first become Masty Mask? What are you talking about? He's not Masty Mask. Ah, but... Wait a second. Look around at this room. This place is obviously Masty Mask's hideout. No, no. You're totally wrong. A real thief's hideout wouldn't look like this. It's because Ronnie is so timid himself that he looks up to heroic figures. Heroic figures? But Masty Mask is a bad guy. So he's deluded, huh? Could that really be true? Anyway, if he really had stolen the, the urn, wouldn't he still have it? Well, I suppose so. Then why don't you ask him if he has the urn or not? 
has the point. It's sort of like it's an ex exactly the criminal type. But something about Ron's behavior bothers me. Maybe it's true. Maybe Mr. Delight isn't nasty mess after all. Say, can I ask you something, Nicky boy? What is it? I know I may seem like a bad girl on the outside, but the one thing I won't stand for is illegal activity. I had the feeling you wouldn't. You're tough, but I can tell you've got a good heart. Somebody framed my poor Ronnie. I just know it. Um, did you give this to Ronnie for me? A letter? Yes, for Ronnie. I want him to fight back. Mr. Light? Okay, you got it. Just relax and leave it, leave it, uh, leave it all to us. Uh, the service letter addressed to her husband, Ron Delight, apparently contains something important. I guess I'll go give him that. Okay. Here. Oh, that's right. Here. This is from your wife. Hey Susie, how's it going? Lurk away, no problem. Enjoy the lurks. Oh, Desi? Thank you. Better give it to Masty Mass. Actually, more like taken. My dear Ronnie, how are you? I'm doing fine. It's clutching onto that letter so hard. The ink is going to be squeezed out. You look so happy. You should write a letter to Mystic Maya too, Mr. Nick. Um, <laughs> uh, Mr. Lawyer? Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? Uh, uh, I know this would be asking a lot, but... Could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hey, hang on a second. He can't be your lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? We're the victims in this case, right? Victims of this Damas guy? Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. He said, poor man, he's deluded himself into thinking he did it. Right, Mr. Nick? Come on, she could be lying to protect her husband. Well, that's true. Uh, no, actually not. Actually, it's from the same. Why is he talking like him now? I know. It's spreading. <laughs> oh, please. I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. Oh, what should I do? Uh, I guess we're taking it. I guess I'm saving it. I don't know if it matters. <laughs> okay. Take his case. Well, Mr. Delight, I've decided to give it a try. I'll defend you. Really? You will? Hey, what are you doing, Nick? He's a thief. You can't trust him. Well, he may be a thief. I think there's more to this case than meets the eye. Mr. Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. Pearls? I can't believe you defend this person after what he did to Mystic Maya. I, I'll never forgive you. Ever. Wow. Wow. Oh. Barely, wait. This is going to be ugly. I'll go after her. Oh boy. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. Guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya. Where's Pearls? She said, she said she's going back to the office. Go check in on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me talk, uh, taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. I believe in you. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. I really appreciate it. Okay, Nick, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Uh -huh. Can I go back you? I made Pearly upset. Whoops. 
Ah, Mr. Nick, welcome back. Oh, hey, pros. You're back too, I see. Uh, I went and bought us a strawberry cake. I'll go, I'll go make some tea to go with it. Hey, uh, pearls. Looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. So Nick, I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have trusted you. I will forgive you ever. Mystic Maya, the tea is ready. No, oh, thanks. Come on, Mr. Nick, please have some of this cake. Yeah, thanks. Uh, pearls? Oh, excuse me, I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Hey, it's okay, I just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her. Okay. Pearl. First met Pearls a year ago. Was when that murder happened at Grain Village. I still remember what she said to me when she when we first met. You you're Mr. Nick, right? You're you're Mystic Maya's special someone. <laughs> hey Maya, I've always thought it was because she was young, but but what? Girls, I think she's got the wrong idea. About you and me? Huh? I, I, I don't know. There's something you need to understand. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Um. Kind of like a Korean village custom, sort of. Oh. What? <laughs> Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin, and well. Because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is. Oh, yeah. I remember now, Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. There you go. So you see, I'm the only family Pearly has right now. But it's the same for me too. My, uh, my mother's gone too. Oh, Grand Village Custom. 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 <laughs> okay. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. Here we go. Uh, there are hardly any men in Korean village. Now that you mention it, I never actually saw any man there when I visited. I should have told you about it a long time ago. About her spiritual powers run very strong in the Fae family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Korean village kind of revolves around its... Uh, revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh. Well, men start to feel left out after a while and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. Are you saying that Pearl's father is gone? He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah, she grew up seeing uh, nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Mm -hmm. My mother, so your mother is still missing? Yeah, and no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Miss Tifei, the current master of the Korean channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain police case. But you're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's sort of a spirit medium thing. 
And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? And according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mystic Maya, the master of the Korean technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah, but there's no one else with uh, the blood of the Fey main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not going to learn anything just sitting around the office. Yeah, I know, but first... First, I want to talk uh, talk to Pearls. Uh, Mr. Nick? Yeah? I, I, I acted like a baby. Pearls? I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do. Mr. Nick? Yes? I, I, from the bottom of my heart, apologize for what I said. Oh, it's okay. I'm the one. Oh, well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Huh? Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. I'm going to show you I can be useful too by finding some evidence. Uh, hey, wait. Uh, she sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. She's a little girl. Okay. Do, 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 do. When did you first get the porcupine cut? Uh, it's been like this ever since I was a little kid. What? You mean that's the way your hair is naturally? I thought you had some sort of special phoenix cut deal with the barber. I mean, you usually only see hair like that in a video game. <laughs> My hair really that weird looking it's pretty weird <laughs> if it wasn't for Mia I wouldn't be the person I am today yeah she told me you used to really be useless compared to how unreliable you were then you actually seem responsible now actually you haven't changed that much I guess I appraised me for a change hey wait a second <laughs> Are you sure about that I'm going to have to really buckle down and get serious well, you're the future master of the Korean challenge technique after all. Yeah, that and I have to play the part of big sister too. For Pearly and you, Nick. What? Do I look like I was born, born yesterday? <laughs> I'm sorry that Pearly said what she said. Oh, it's fine. It was nothing. I'm going to have to smooth things over with Pearls later somehow. Okay. Seems like there's something to do with this case, I'm not really sure. Okay. I take the gumptious on this case too, huh? He seems to show up during all of our cases. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe it's a sign that our fates are just destined to be woven together for all time. Yeah, that'd be a real beauty and the beast kind of fairy tale, wouldn't it? <laughs> So the real identity of Master Mask is from the light, right? That's what Mr. The Light claims, but I'm not too convinced about something he said. Huh? Or what? About the sacred urn? Didn't he sound a little vague on the subject? Yeah, now that you mention it, he said that he had simply lost it, right? I have this this thing. This thing feeling that he's hiding something. I just know it. The detective at me. Uh, detective at me guy really surprised me. Uh, there was this certain something about the way he said Swary. <laughs> well, he did manage to get back the treasure that the masked guy stole last time, right? And he did it by himself too. Yeah, I guess. That case has certainly made him famous. It looks like he does deserve to be called a detective after all. Okay. That Desiree is sure is cool. I love that whole motorcycle thing. If we should laugh in the face of death, I want to try it myself. I thought you only knew how to ride a bike. Hey, don't forget Nick, that it's an electric bike. Electric, so young and 
young and already so lazy. Whatever happened to good old exercise? Oh man, savage Nick. Where are we going? I don't. Nope. Uh, well, I think. Yeah. Where are we going? It's not even here. Um. Do, 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 do. So not here either. The hole. Yep. Okay. Maya. Oh, Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn. Please. Calm down, what's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. No, it's okay. I, I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I can make your another urn. Hold on, just wait. Okay? Breathe, calm down, and talk to us. Forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. Is she good? The mask calling card. Um, so when did you get the calling card from Master Mask? Let's see, exactly 10 days ago. I was going to show it to the police, but that detective stopped me. So you asked the tech to get me to help with security? Yes, in fact, it was about 20 days ago that I heard him. He seemed to know much more about Master Mask than the police. So you hired him for security even before the calling card arrived? Well, yes, I had a premonition that something bad might happen. I've learned to trust my hunches. So that's why there are security cameras, even in the basement warehouse. Yes, Lord Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It was a way of saying, bring it on to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it last night and even left with a nice souvenir. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the security for this treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection a treasure exhibit anyway. Why do you say that? The urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after appraisal was, well, practically zero. Zero? I polish it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But that urn contains the soul of Mr. Gamey. Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective at me. But five days ago, I began receiving all sorts of other exhibit items from Corrine. Lots of people started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So one of them was actually mask to mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. No one Adrian should probably even check out what they ate for breakfast that morning. <laughs> Alright. Sanders, I know, I know, it's all my fault. What's done is done, I'll make it up, make for, by making a new urn for you. Just wasting my time, she's too far gone. Mm 
Now he's here. Okay. Hello? Well, well. How lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my... A bot. A bot. A boat. A boat. <laughs> Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Uh, um, we're actually kind of... Silence. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What is? It's very. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit man, you always said that. Am I correct? Uh, I think we've already been through this. Huh, so my estimation was correct. It's very. Not truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? Okay. Night of the crime? I mentioned before that you were on guard duty all alone last night. Precisely, this is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I heard you've been after Mastema since his very first theft. Yes, my dear, I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, uh, that that battle thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Emanon. I first encountered him in the museum sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for the treasure exhibit? Pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him. Yes, I borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. Must mean a security camera. And I thought you were watching the area yourself too. How did Master Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is mask the mask modus of brandy? Uh, sacred urn. Mr. Atme, did you know about the sacred urn? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is mask the mask. Sacred urn? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Mastima stole this time? I am a hunter, sir. The arrow was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. The, urn. the mass ammo. Uh, there's something that kind that's kind of bothering me please my dear ask me anything you like after all we are all but seekers wandering alone in the dark well i was wondering how master mass managed to steal the urn i mean isn't it strange that you don't seem to know yeah now that you mention it it is strange after all you were on guard at night at the scene of the crime Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Mass. Oh, locks. One lock, okay. What the? It's a psych lock. Psych lock? Okay. Psych lock. Hey Nick, what is this psych lock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. What? This Magatama has that kind of power? Why, you're the, the one who gave me this Magatama last year. Well, it's true that this Magatama is a prize fey family heirloom, but it really was the one that actually um, imbued, it, imbued it with spiritual powers, right? That's why I don't really know much about what it can do. It's the woman that's going to take over the Korean channel in school someday. So how do you do it? How do you break this psych thing? Well, you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool, I can't wait to see it in action. Come on, try it out. Oh boy, I think the future master's deal is to learn how to be patient. 
bad thing. You must know more than you're letting on. How did Master Mass manage to steal the sacred urn? Okay, I need to do that then. Oh, okay. Last night, look at me, must have encountered Master Mass. But why would he be trying to hide it? Nick, go for it. Let's break that cyclock of his. I don't really think she understands what she's talking about. Yeah, it's been a while, but let's give this a shot. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Okay. Let's see if we can break it. Nasty Max MO. You tried to get me. You were standing around, uh, around. Uh, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. As long as you didn't see Master Mask commit the crime. Well, now I can hardly see why you're so positive, positive about that. Yes, indeed. I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this admin guy is lying through his teeth. I know. I'll show him some proof. You do have me. I have here proof that someone went through that door last night. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Mm hmm. There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. You should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through the door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. What? On my monocle. Didn't catch anyone in his flash. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. What? You're saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Take the at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is, why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he just desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just a piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay, let's suppose you didn't manage to see Master the Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at the time was because you were... in the bathroom, unconscious... Unconscious? I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. And to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure. Evidence. Evidence that he was knocked out. Uh oh, this? Take the bat me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think that I I look at me could be knocked unconscious so easily? The sword proves it. That's before the theft this before the theft this sword was in the hand of the statue of Aim Fay. Furthermore, at that time it was not banned. Uh, uh there's only one explanation. It was struck on the head and knocked unconscious by hit by this sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Well, sweating profusely from his nose. <laughs> the mask ammo. I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when the thief first covered you. Cover? What another way of saying it? I suppose you could put it that way. 
color struck at the, pre the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. Do you never notice that the thief had entered the warehouse? No. The car must have worn uh, his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. Mr. Admi should have his poor head examined. I can't say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Okay, the sword knocked at me out during the crime um, with a blow to the back of the head. Well, it looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? The enemy is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, the king never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief may not uh, even be Masty Mass. Just one moment, sir lawyer. The thief was unquestionably Masty Mass. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so, but I installed a security cam the camera for just a contingency. Oh. Last night the camera went off exactly once. Behold, this is a photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. Oh. That's him! Mask the mask! Oh. Um, storeroom entrance in with the camera on the night of the crime. Okay. He can be none other than the arch criminal Mask the mask. After all, he was he has a very good reason for committing such brazen crimes. What are you talking about? Masked reasons. So what do you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that, Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. But how would you know about that? Oh, have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind science mind the most brilliant mind since well ever. Look at me. Well, I guess we'd better go take a look, just in case. Okay. Okay, bye. Go to the Fido for the letter. Hey, Nick, remember what Detective Admi said? Exactly that, Mr. Delay had a very good reason to dress up and commit to crimes. Should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. I need to go and investigate. We don't need it. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. KB? What's KB? Uh, 50000 uh, This is a blackmail letter. Sure looks like a major clue, alright? Okay, we know with a fountain pen. Found in Ron's room. Oh. Ding dong. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nicky boy, I'm so sorry. But I've got another guess. Ah, you, you're, you're good. It's Larry. Uh, Nick, it's you and Maya too. What a fluke. Ah, Larry. Long time no see. What? You know each other? N Nicky boy? Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Uh... I don't mean what I mean. I understand. I underestimated you, Nick. 
the code just like the, like this and Mary too way to go dude wait Mary I know it just when things can't get any worse it's time to queue in the butts <laughs> Larry Butts, ever since grade school he's been not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. <laughs> hey man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. We've got we've got quite the uh, story history, he and I. But what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty lady thing here. So you two are all childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on all on all times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Okay. Nice girl that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. Okay, what the what the hell is he doing here? <laughs> Very good. So what have you been up to this whole time? been two years since I heard from you and what's with those clothes you look well weird hey man that's some call for this is my uniform from my part-time job but I can't believe it's been two years they say time flies when you're having fun <laughs> huh? what's wrong Nick I gotta tell you women I don't trust them anymore I got dumped again well, you know, Benifer followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. That's where I met the famous Katie Tom, and my whole life changed. Benifer, Katie Tom? I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Katie Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Okay, well, actually, anyway, sounds like you had a quiet the adventure. Wait a minute, they're so, so, uh... Oh, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Airy. Okay, why are you here, romance? So what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Why? Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. I want it. So you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Owned by Larry at, the, at his part-time security jobs company building... Uh, security jobs company building. Night of the Grind. Hang on, let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Guess his picture is in here. Yeah, I guess he really takes his wife, huh? Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. She really is here just to check out Miss Delight. You said you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? Security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about? Okay. Wallet. What time was it when you found this last night? Huh? Why are you asking that? And to see if I've got an alibi? Oh, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure, here. Here, take a look at this. It's right there in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See, I guess your number on it right there. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part time at a security company, right? That's right. Why are you making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite secure, secure about Larry working there. 
I need to find out as much as I can about this guitar. Found in several fallen from the use for the building of his part-time job. Hi. What is this? Something comes to mind. It's a long security car. And I hate to say you juicy bits of info and chew the fat man. <laughs> And you had no qualms about selling samurai dogs just two years ago. This one is, a, this is one of the treasures from Korean Village. Be serious, Nick. Couldn't care less about mystic mumbo jumbo stuff. Uh, of course, my is a different story. Talk about your mixed messages. <laughs> Larry, this is one of the treasures from Korean Village. Okay. Okay. What about this? Okay. Okay. Hey, Larry, what about this? What? If you've got something to say, then say it already. Huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about Alexis. And that's the truth, Alexis. Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000. I don't have that kind of money. No, no, you don't understand. This black letter was sent to Ron Delight. Ew. Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack. You idiot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the idiot. Man, I was totally confused because it says KB security right on the envelope. Yeah, Karain. No, village. Village we would be no. Uh, yeah, so what? That's where I get a part-time job at KB Security. What? Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB Security company. Okay. You didn't touch anything in the wallet, did you? Hey man, be serious. You know what I was interested in? If Master Master doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. Are you sure about this key card? Yep, that's the key card we used to we used at the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need to get into that room and every time you you use that card it leaves a record. It leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and, the, and when. Larry, I need that data. Whoa, slow down, man. Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders. I lost this job, I never have a chance with Desi. It's times like these when I wish lawyers weren't so powerless. Cross <laughs> wide, open the key to security. I'm sorry, we're going to use. Okay. 26 years old, right? Don't you think it's about the time you took a long, hard look at your life? Coming from a guy who can only brag about how many times he's been rejected. I find that kind of ironic. Okay. Hey, I remember her. That's my uh, big sister. Oh, you really do remember. Yeah, who could forget? A couple of gorgeous sisters. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Hear that, Nick? Gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that's right. When I defended Larry, Mia was still alive. Right, that was the first case. The first game? <laughs> wow, you were even cuter than the last time I saw you. Oh, really? Yeah, you look totally different than two years ago. Don't you think, Nick? Maybe it's because we're always together, but she looks pretty much the same to me. Uh, pretty much. She's 19? Okay. 
Oh, what a cutie. Hey, Nick, so what's the deal between you and this girl? Hey, that's my cousin. Her name is Pearl Faye. Pearl? Huh, too bad. I would date two girls with the same name. That's one rule I can break. Bruh. She's nine. <laughs> I think the fact that she's only nine years old would break some rule somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whoa, who is this? Come on, man, don't hold out on me. <laughs> Bro. Okay, buddy, it's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Hey, now, I thought we were pals. I got a major thing for girls with black sleeveless shirts and glasses. How do you know that? And if they have an orange color memo pad, I really look like cool. He has to be making that up. He can't really know a drink, can he? Okay. Uh, this person beats me. Okay. I just thought of something. What if it's actually a hot chick under that costume? Oh. I mean, could we? Forget about it. It's a guy. Trust me. Man, you're killing my buzz, dude. Boy, talk about someone who has a one track mind. Uh, nothing with that. Nothing with that. That this is one awesome lady, alright? It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. A long time, huh? Yeah, well, uh, except for what I feel for you, Maya. <laughs> he feels for everyone. I don't think even he knows what he's saying anymore. <laughs> I mean, you could learn a few tricks from me, Nick. Yeah, like what? Look at my hair, for example. It points up straight, right? But your hair, on the other hand, points backwards. That's not a good. That's not good at all, man. It's the defeatist. You gotta aim high for the stars. I I can't find a counter argument to that. <laughs> I guess KB security. KB Security, the company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice uh, do when they when the cat's away. Yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, you can fly down the road anyway. Oh, well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lordly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If our only light was at KB Security when the robbery occurred, then... Whoa. Then he couldn't have stolen the sacred urn. Oh. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, Nick, your phone. Hoodies. Hello, is this the right residence? Ah, uh, Pearls, where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? Give me the phone, Nick. Pearly, where, where are you right now? Uh, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? That person who doesn't act his age and always says very when he's excited. Okay. Look at me, Ace, Ace Detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Alright, I'm a little scared. Oh. Alright, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick. Oh, thank you for the host, Lou. How's it going? Hi, Ween. Oh, what? That phone call just now sounded like real, like, real cutie. Um... Chase nine. <laughs> Another one of your uh, special friends. Take you back to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? <laughs> okay. This man. This man is right here. No problem. Was looking well. Begin of dinner. I heard about that dude's sketchy attraction. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're having an awesome Saturday. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Nice. 
Up to nurse unlace. New problem. Okay, let me see. Where are we going? I guess we're gonna go find. Um. Need to go here first. Yeah. Okay. And go find pearls. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ah, Mr. Nick. Mystic Maya. Pearly. I never thought I'd see the two of you again. Oh. How's your Saturday been? Uh, so is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes, when I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Oh yeah, there's a bag on the table. Now that you mention it... Where's your bag? Oh, table. This bag. I'm sure it wasn't here before. Looks quite full. I wonder what could be in here. Er? Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. Fuddy-duddy? <laughs> That's true, and truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. Eek, he's here. What are you doing, sir, lawyer? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court. Ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. <laughs> Just throw her under the bus. Nick, I can't believe you. The gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. No, thank you for the... Uh, oh, ping pong. For the contribution for the next game, Emma. I finished the cooking. The, the cookies? Nice. Did, uh, uh, did you try them out? <laughs> You're dead, no! Your back is done, so... Uh, no. Take care of yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Did just as good as the first batch. Nice. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now, um, gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lo lollygagging about here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial is very... Shall we say the figurative Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime? <laughs> wow, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be really exciting. Okay. Um, we're talking. Most trial. Um, what's going on? What's going to happen at the trial tomorrow? That's so dramatic. Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, sir lawyer? He was becoming a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I, look at me, will take the stand. Then, swear, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you as the thieves' co-conspirators. What? Conspirators? Uh, hee hee hee, you're quick on the de defensive, I see. However, it is not I that I is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? A lawyer? If you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is... Godot? 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 Who's man's mass identity? You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. 
to try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the mask. <laughs> My dear lady. Times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will under understand this when you are more mature. Okay, go dot. Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Oh. Godot, a legend or myth, men, men pay in a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Also, Edge is not gonna be here. Oh. Prosecutor Godot. But the best prosecutor in the country is Godot. Isn't Godot. It's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of, of this. Uh, <laughs> you like the, the dude's clothes? It's nasty. <laughs> and it's fancy. <laughs> that, that huge ring. Okay. Uh, but Ace Prosecutor Miles Edward is currently traveling abroad. <laughs> the magnifier molecule, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most well, certainly. In fact, you could call him the look at me of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? Mm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives uh, idly waiting for his, uh, his appearance. Looks like we're done investigating for the day. Hehehe, <laughs> sir, sir lawyer. The stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective and a thief. This will be one tough trial. Oh, to be continued. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Uh, save here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to keep going. It's not going to be able to do much on the time left. Kind of curious about this code that you do. <laughs> Is that the guy on the. Uh, the cover of the episode with the Cyclops glasses. <laughs> uh hmm. Do you wanna keep going? Mm, no. I think nah I might save it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't wanna get into the whole the whole uh, trial part yet. I'm gonna forget. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just gonna save it here. Okay, I already saved it, I think. But yeah, yeah, I did save. It. It's fine. Okay, yeah, we're gonna call it here. Here's, let's go to the title screen. That was a long in investigation part. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's it's fun going around investigating again. <laughs> all the again and uh, getting to see the old characters too. I didn't know that some of them would come back. Like Andrews and well Larry I kinda thought he would come back. But yeah. Yeah, it's fun seeing them again. Gumshu, of course. <laughs> was he really in all the cases? Yeah, I think Gumshu was in all the cases. Alright. But yeah. Yep, that was a, I guess, a bit of an introduction to the game still, because 
still told us about the story of everyone. I guess they do that in case you didn't play the other games, but I guess. Uh, but yeah, it was more of a bit of a recap too. So yeah, wasn't that bad. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. I'm gonna get into the the case, the trial itself later. Hope I remember for next time. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't think I have much evidence and stuff. I don't think it's gonna end on one day of trial. It's probably gonna be a long one. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, have a great night, dude. No, uh, thank you, and thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone for stopping by today. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with Undertale, I think, for now. So, yeah. That's the plan. And yeah. Well, after this weekend, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take some vacations, so... It might be a while since, uh, until I play this game again. So yeah. I probably would forget everything <laughs> by the time I play this again. But yeah. But yeah, for now... Tomorrow, Undertale. Thank you. Undertale, yee, yeah, Undertale. Mm hmm. Yeah, we were. Uh, I don't remember what part we were at. <laughs> I think we just. Did we just meet on dying? I think. I don't remember. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we left. But yeah, for now, it's gonna be it. Alright. But yeah. Again, thank you everyone for stopping by today. I hope everyone is having a good Saturday. And then you have a good rest of it. Let me check some stuff here. Um, should we do a raid? Sure, let's, let's do a raid. Why not? It's been a while since it. Did one. Uh, do, do, do. Do, okay. I think I have someone. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Do, do. Do, 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 Send me these. <laughs> Where are these notes? Um, OBS. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go raid coffee. Coffee the pastry. Playing Bloodborne. That's one. I like Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if he's playing by himself or with someone. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. But yeah, let me see if this works. Yup, okay. Hope it's not ending. I didn't check. <laughs> I think he's not. Alright, we'll see. But yep, here are the raid messages. I have a few of them, I think. Yeah, that's for the. Eh, for the subs and this one. And we have this one with the other emus. Wait, that's not the one. <laughs> this one. That's yes, one. <laughs> okay. Now, yep. Feel free to use whichever one you want. Okay. And there we go. We can join for a little bit. Raid. It's fine. If you can, no problem. But yeah. Gonna go ahead and raid them. But yeah, for now, like I said. I'll be back tomorrow with some Undertale. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow then. But, yeah. Hope everyone has a good rest of the Saturday. And, yeah. And a good rest of the weekend if I don't see you tomorrow. And, yep, yeah, I'll see you all later, everyone. Take care. Let's go raid.